Hey guys, this is Matt in Exile, and today's story has to do with Russia attacking the dollar. Now, they've been attacking the dollar for a while now, for about 20 years, but they're really getting some inroads right now because, first thing, they're buying tons of gold. Them and China. China's number one, Russia's number two on buying gold right now. And the United States isn't buying any. But the interesting thing is what they're doing with this gold. They're using it to back their currency. Now, Russia came out about a month ago saying, if you are a country that is hostile to us, especially after they went into Ukraine, you have to buy oil and gas with the ruble. Well, now they changed that policy a little bit, and they're saying, hey, you want to buy oil and gas from us? First thing you got to do is buy our rubles with gold. And that's how they're getting more gold. So let's say Britain decides they need some oil and gas, so they're going to buy it from Russia. They have to give them, let's say, a million dollars for a million dollars worth of uh, of uh, rubles. A million dollars worth of uh, gold to get a million dollars worth of rubles. So they could give them that million dollars worth of rubles back for oil and gas. And the reason Russia's going that way is because, first thing, they don't have the SWIFT uh, banking system right now because of all the sanctions. So that's keeping them out of being uh, affected with the dollar. That's the whole point of the SWIFT banking system anyway, where you have automatically transfer of money from uh, from dollar to ruble or ruble to ruby, which is the uh, Indian uh, uh, currency, and so on and so forth. So they're not able to do that, so they're going with gold, which everybody, majority countries, have some kind of gold. And that is what they're using to back their ruble, their currency. And this is extremely dangerous for the United States, as well as the petrodollar. Now, they've been attacking the petrodollar for, uh, like I said, about 20 years now. And uh, they have almost about got destroyed with the help with not only China, but now India, as well as Saudi Arabia and uh, Iran. And also S South American countries are getting involved in it now as well, especially Brazil Argentina, and so on and so forth. So, uh, at some point or another, the petrodollar is going to fall. And once that happens, all the money that's out there, because 80% of the money that we've printed is out uh, in the world right now, and they're using it to transfer uh, uh, from one country to another in the SWIFT uh, banking system. That's all going to have to come back to the United States, and you're going to see a hyperinflation at that point. So, this is dangerous. And... Right now, no one in the mainstream media is talking about this. And I'm bringing it up because I want you guys to get prepared for it and know that it's coming. But guys, that's the end of the story. I'll have links down in the bottom so you can check out more about it. But don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.